Hey, Gemini, this is Nikki. I hope you all are having a good one. This is your message. I hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest for others. I thank you for supporting my channel. Messages for the Gemini. Spirit, what message do you have for the Gemini, please? Please give me a clear and concise reading for the Gemini. And protect this reading with the white of your with the white light of your Holy Spirit, please. We're starting with the Page of Cups. The Page of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles. Not a lot of equal give and take in a relationship or in a connection. It's like if you want something to be whole, you have to go 50-50. You know, um, it's very, very immature acting person here. You know, almost as if this is, this is a teenager or this is uh, somebody who is at home, you know, living at home with the family. And they can't really, you know, they don't want to, they want to put their hands out. They want to ask for something, but they don't want to do what they need to do. They don't want to do the chores. They don't want to, to take care of their responsibilities. They don't want to listen to mama. Okay? I don't want to listen to the parents, mother, father, whoever, the, the elder. They don't want to listen. They want to do what the hell they want to do. They want to talk and say what the hell they, they want to say. You know, you got a breadwinner and a fam family, probably a, um, a single parent. But you got your teenager, probably a girl, doesn't have to be though, you know, girls and mothers don't get along too well as teenage, is in teenage years or because the girl think they know every doggone thing, you know. You show them what to do, but they don't want to listen, you know. Clarify the page of cups, please, for the Gemini. See? You got mother and you got daughter, father, son. A uh, parent and child taking her resin. I'm telling you what what it is that you're supposed to do. I'm showing you. I'm teaching you. But are you listening or are you learning? This person tends to think that they know they are know it all, that they know everything. They don't want to listen to what they're being taught, what the things that are being said to to them. Because they want to, you want your child or whoever this is to get to where you are. We have the page of wands and we have the knight of wands. This person. Uh, wants to rush out and do things. They don't want to take their time. They think that they, like I said, they think that they're grown. They think that that the shit don't stink. They think that they are invincible. Okay. You want them to have a good future. We have the three of pentacles. Okay. The page of one, the two of ones, and we have the empress. The empress, which is you, the parent, or, or hell, this could even be uh, a teenager watching. Take it how you resonate with this. If you're a teenager. You know what the heck you're doing. You know what the heck you're not doing. You know you don't listen as well as you should. I did when I was a teenager. And my daughter, she's 16. And she sure in hell don't listen to me right now. Although she's a, a, a Leo. Okay. I'm going to clarify the three of pentacles. What is it that this person is being shown? Six of Wands and everything. Like everything is going to be fine, you know, with this person. You, you they sit there to get this person to really. This person probably likes to be seen and heard. You want this person to represent themselves with respect, honor, and respect you as their parent with respect, and letting them know that out there in the street, no matter what, everything's going to be just fine with you. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. You don't have to make yourself stand out to anybody. Either they care about you, either they like you, or they don't. Take you know that. Take that to the bank. Okay. You don't have to always show yourself. You don't have to show yourself approved to anybody because I love you just the way you are. You may be hard headed. You may not do what the heck I tell you to do. But this is me telling you. This is me raising you. Okay. And we have it here. If this is like a situation to where you're giving to this child, not only you're taking care of this child or adult, a young adult. But you love this child, so you're giving this child the opportunities and, and, and training this part, this this child, teaching them, training them up, you know, so they they won't depart from what you say when they get older. You're giving your two cents because you're supposed to. You're the parent. You're the you're the elder. You're the guardian, and they have to respect you because you've been to where they've gone. You've had the opportunities that that they're trying to seek in their life. Okay, you don't want them to get too old and then regret the life that they have lived. There may be some regrets in your life, things that you have never experienced in your life. And now you as an adult look look on your life and say, I should have did this. You know, you're looking back on your life saying, I should have did this. I could have did that. I would have did this. But I started a family. I chose to take care of my kids or my child. And I and I let my memories, I let my my life go. I let my opportunities go to take care of my child. 
and you don't want your child to to go through what you went through in life you want your child to thrive and to grow and to be a better person than you ever were but they want to be a little out there they want to rush life you know you know they want things to be you know they want to rush they don't want to take their damn time but you're trying to keep your child from getting stabbed in the back from getting run over from getting hurt from having their life shattered from different things you want your child to be okay to understand that no matter what you go through everything gonna be just fine but don't take yourself down a road that you don't need to be on too soon take your time and we have here hung up we have the hanged man we got the ace of swords and you're not telling this person anything that uh, they want to be older than then then uh, you too this could also mean that they don't have a parent with them or you're, like I said earlier a single parent you know so you're raising this child by yourself and this person is off living their life not even thinking about uh, anything they probably don't even pay child support with to the, to the to the child they're living their life with probably another raising another family raising another another person's child and they were just the, the sperm donor to this child and you have been the best parent the best single parent male or female that you can possibly be you have given this person life and all you want this person to do is live their life you know live their life to the best of their ability because you love them you don't want this person to look back on their life 15 or 20 years from now and, and, and say the should have could have would is that you saying to yourself right now I should have did this I should have did that look here precious look here baby however you refer to your, your, your young adult I don't want you looking back on your life like I'm doing you know 20 20 30 years 32 years now I didn't go to the army I didn't do what I, everything I said I wanted to do I didn't buy my restaurant or whatever it is that you're sulking about or you refute that you kind of like regret doing you don't want your child your young adult to have any regrets although we we all do you know but you're trying to lead this person on the right path so they won't have any shoulda coulda wouldas like you do all right I hope this message resonates with you Gemini thank you so much for your support and if you are a mother happy belated Mother's Day